So, I'm about to conquer this attic. I'm so scared. This is my first time going in the attic to change the filters. Terrence normally does this stuff, so I ain't never had to do it. But, whew, I think the day has come, y'all. One thing about me, I watch movies, okay? I don't like attics. I don't care if it ain't hardly no space up there. I don't like an attic. And the fact that it's this whole creepy, like real life, scary movie type uh, attic, I'm freaking out. But y'all coming with me, okay? We gonna, we gonna conquer this attic together. So I got my filter, I got y'all. And we gonna go, we gonna do this thing. Okay, here we go. Hey, it ain't too bad. Ain't nothing up here but um insulation and a roof. Not too bad. I don't even know where to go to change this. I gotta stand up. I gotta come in. What if I fall? This is all the stuff that I don't understand. At our last house, it was just a big vent right in the wall that you opened and changed the filter. This stuff, I don't know nothing about this. I'm, I'm very confused right now. All right, I'm up here. I'm up here. Okay. Okay. I know that's the furnace, because it's say furnace one, furnace two. I don't know where I put these things. Y'all, if I ain't never been confused, Today is definitely the day. I don't even see nothing to open. Is it this? I'm wondering, am I supposed to turn everything off before I open this? I think I probably am. Let me do that first and we'll come back. What's up, TT3 fans? Say, what's up? <laughs> Why you being shy? Y'all have so much to be updated on. We haven't vlogged in a hot little minute. Like, I'm talking vlog, vlog, getting the real deal. Anthony family, okay, y'all, we ain't vlogged in a minute, but so much has been going on. Um, Isaac and Zara, they started daycare. Well, Isaac, he's in preschool. But as you can see, he's home with me today. We are not feeling well. It's not no corona, okay? It's just because the weather went from 80 degrees to 60. Even outside, they've been playing. And we just starting to get like cold. So, um, yeah, he just been real sniffly. I've been sniffly and congesting and stuff like that. So, yeah, Isaac is home. And Isaac and Zara is going to stay home today. And we just going to try to feel better. I still got a lot to do, even with not feeling good. I'm going to push through, take some medicine to knock this little <clears throat> right on out. I've been drinking my tea. We ate oatmeal, had Isaac drink hot water. So we're gonna try to knock this out. I still got stuff to do, content to film, content to shoot, pictures to take. Like this is just the life, okay? Social media marketing and stuff. Something super exciting in this vlog. If y'all probably already see it by the title, it might be the title, might be the thumbnail. I don't know what the title, what the thumbnail gonna be. But super exciting news. Y'all will see everything go down later. It all ties into like the content that I'm shooting today. So I'm so excited and I'm that's why I'm like a little bit like um uh, irritated that I'm sick today because today is the day that I'm like supposed to be uh shooting the content, being all excited and stuff. But nonetheless, we're gonna push through it because that's what you gotta do. You just gotta push yourself. Sometimes you do gotta take a break, but sometimes if you can push yourself, go ahead and push yourself, boo. You got it in you, you got the power, you can do it. Okay, so you gotta get up and make things happen out of nothing. You ready for the day? Yeah. You want to tell them how school's been going for you? How you like school? Mm -hmm. I like a, like I want to go to school too. I like school too. Your car want to go to school too? Do you like school, little car? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Has Isaac been good at school? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I like all my homework. Okay. Is Isaac making lots of friends? Yeah. Yep, your teacher said you make a lot of friends and, and, and you do so good. And I just, and I think just eat food. Yeah, you eat food at school, you eat your lunch, you eat your snack. I eat my food and my snack and my You go outside and play at school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
He be so excited coming home, showing showing us what he did for the day. Like he is doing so good. I'm so yeah, glad. I was good. I eat lunch. Yo, I'm so glad to have him in school because he really, really needed it. Isaac is so smart. And just having him at home, of course, we do the best we can with him. But having, like, that social interaction and just, like, a real for real lesson plan. And it's just been amazing. So, he's been doing really good in preschool. Um, I just feel so sad that he's not feeling good today. But we're going to get it together. We're going to get this day together. We're going to get these sicknesses and colds together. And we're going to have a great productive day. Hope y'all having a good day, too. Let's go ahead and get this vlog started. Zara, hey Zara B, Zara B, Zara Bawa. Good morning, wake up, sleepyhead. Wake up, girl. Wake up, girl. Zara Mama, Teddy Mommies. This girl slept in today. It's like 12 o'clock, and they say I just woke up. A little crusty face. Mm -hmm. You up, Zara? I don't think she's feeling too good either. We all just kind of like a little sniffly, but I got myself together, so I'm feeling a little better. I've been drinking on my tea, <sighs> trying to get my life, eating my vitamins and stuff. But yeah, it's just this whole weather change that just got us feeling like a little under the weather. But hopefully, we feel better today, right? Right, mama? Yeah, because normally she wake up smiling and just laughing and playing. But today she was just like, yeah, I'm not really here for this. And that be changed, mama. Oh, big baby. Does she look cute, Isaac? No, it's not new. We just took the cover off so we could wash it. Does she look cute, Isaac? He said, my baby sister's so cute. <laughs> she got some little bows in her hair. Little ponytails. Let me see you, girl. Did all that crying for these little loose ponytails. <laughs> you look so cute. I did the best I could with what she would give me, but she looks so pretty. <laughs> My baby is so happy. She is. She's so happy. Isaac and Zara been bonding so much, so good lately. It's so cute. He been so affectionate towards her. I got a bunch of wood on my baby head. Just had to oil his head. He just got his hair cut. Daddy took you all the way low. Lord. Yeah, she liked that. You gonna read to her? Yep. Yeah. Oh, bless you, mommy. Oh. And 
I found my phone and I do it both. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, I find your rabbit and I go and fish. Oh. Yep, let's go get some soup. That's a ramp. Little bitty Dollar Tree graduation balloons, but we rocked with it. <laughs> so that is it, y'all. That is the exciting news. And I just wanted to share it with y'all, like in a vlog, because what was that? 2017, six, 2016, I was pregnant with Isaac. And I took y'all along with me on that journey of like being frustrated, trying to finish college. And it was all in the midst of me being pregnant. We was moving. Like it was just a lot going on and I never really explained to y'all what happened. Like the last thing I said was like I failed some tests. I forget what it was, but I like failed some tests and it was like really traumatizing for me because we was about to move and I'm like that was my last chance. It was like my last chance to like graduate and like pass out of class or something like that and I failed and I was so disappointed. I was so upset. I was so hurt. Didn't know what to do because I go to this community college. It's not an online school where I could just move anywhere. It's like I go to this community college. I'm almost done like with one class left and I failed like what? But y'all things end up turning around. I never really updated or anything but things like turned around. I don't even remember how it happened but somebody gave me a chance. They let me redo the test. I passed so that means I graduated. Ah! And I was so excited like it wasn't like a big celebration for me in my life because I mean like you girls pregnant was moving. It was just a lot going on, but so I never really had a chance to like celebrate. I got my diploma in the mail. Like I graduated actually December 17th, 2016. It was it was sometime in December 2016 where I officially graduated and um they sent me my diploma in the mail, college degree, whatever in the mail. And yeah, that was just the news that I just never shared, never uh, really celebrated, but I got this opportunity to work with this brand. I can't really speak about it yet because it's not, you know, public yet, but I got an opportunity to work with them concerning school or whatever. So I thought that would be a great opportunity for me to finally like do a little celebration and share my story and just encourage people out there like it's possible to get it done. It's possible to be a mom, okay, having kids. Thank you. <laughs> but here, put it like that so you can make sure I'm in front. Okay, okay, there we go. Got a little, I was getting a little workout, but it's just so possible to like be starting a family and like life being crazy or whatever your circumstance is and still like do it. It's still, you know, possible to chase after your dreams and finish school or start a business or whatever you want to do. It's so possible. So I just, I feel so good to finally be sharing this story. I'm excited and y'all be encouraged. Anybody out there going through things or feeling like it's impossible. I honestly felt like it was, y'all seen it. Okay, pregnant, moving, like it felt like I'm not gonna even finish, but I did. I got my associate's degree. That's another reason why I feel like I didn't really celebrate like that. Cause I'm like, it's just my associate's, but your little 
accomplishments that you feel like are little are actually such a huge thing. Yeah. Any accomplishment that you make in your life, like you are on nobody else's timeline, nobody else's standard, nobody else's agenda, but yours. So every single accomplishment that you make is like seriously so special, it's so important no matter what it is. Boys, get out the street! And so yeah, I'm just really excited and I hope this could be an inspiration, encouragement to somebody else. You can do it, okay? Mama, Tell me guys that you can do it. <laughs>